we talked about slide valve type fuel injectors. But how do these injectors work? First, please look at, please look at this schematic here. From here to here is a non-return valve like this one. This one is a non-return valve on main BNW 10S198 MC-C engines. This hole here, look is here, oil inlet hole, and the bottom have another hole. From here to here is a spring which gives a load on the spindle here. This one is a spindle like this. On the bottom is an atomizer like this one. This one is a, a spindle for S60ME-C engines, which is an electric controlled diesel engine. The spindle can have a move have a Two parts mainly the main parts here is a spindle. It can go in and out. And uh, here is a pin fits here. So how do the injector works? First we know that in B and W M C dash C low speed diesel engines there is a oil circulating pump before the inject injection pump or high pressure oil pump. So we also know that the oil pump on large bore MCC engines is a suction valve type injection pump which means there is a oil suction pump and an, an oil spill valve in the high pressure pump and the plunger, plunger in that pump does not have uh, any any holes on each side to control the oil flow. So we know when we don't have an injection, the oil circulating pump will generate a low pressure fuel oil which can which can travel through the high pressure oil pump and go in this hole here, into this hole here. The non-return valve has a spring in it. There is a spring on the top. The spring will give a load on the non-return valve to push it down. So when the oil pressure is not high enough, this slide valve can't be pushed on. It will stay in its position like, like this one here. The first schematic here. Down down here. This is this is not it it is not working here. So now return valve have a spring inside. The oil flows up to down. And uh, when the oil pressure is not high enough, the oil will go through the side hole and to the clearance between the non-return valve and the fuel injector body. The clearance is shown here, the black area. And the oil will flow like this to here 
and circulate out. Why we don't have what well, our now? Why we have a circulate? It is used to cool the whole injector. The oil flow will carry out, carry away a great amount of heat, which transfer from the nozzle tip in the combustion chamber up to here. If we don't have a oil flow or the flow is too weak, the nozzle may be damaged and the spindle guide may be stuck. And we may and we must must change the spindle guide or the nozzle tip when the injector is overheated because the heavy fuel may generate some carbon deposits in the in the tight clearance tight surface to damage the spindle but we will talk it uh, talk about it later or in another video so when the oil pressure is high enough the, the oil pressure is high enough and we want an inject, injection the high pressure oil will force the spindle valve down oh no not well the high pressure oil goes to the surface under the slide valve and push it up push it up and the fuel can go straight down here 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 and to here to this surface and we know the spindle guide the spindle not the spindle guide the spindle is spring loaded so when we don't have an injection the spindle is here and the high pressure oil when the high pressure oil goes down here the spindle will be pushed up like this pushed up like this and there inside here can form an form a clearance to allow the high pressure oil go straight down through these two three holes and to the atomi atomizer here and we will have a fine spray oil spray and we will have a complete combustion in the cylinder and the engine will run perfectly if you like my video please share comment and subscribe